Hi, welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. Today I have a great little project for you to make. Um, and these are my double oven mitts. So they're a reversible double oven mitt. Uh, just pop your hands in through there, carry what you need to, and that's it. If you like, you can actually have them turn the pockets around. Oops. And we have the oven mitts like that. So stick around and I will show you two ways to make these uh, reversible double oven mitts. The material that we need are a main piece of fabric. We just need one of these at 30 inches by seven and a half inches long. And we need a contrast fabric in the same, uh, same size. So this is the color I'm using. And where is that? Here it is. So I've got another piece that is 30 inches by seven and a half inches. So we just need one of the, each of these pieces. Then we want two seven and a half inch squares. We want two of these, so one for each uh, side of the oven mitt, the left and right hand, and then another one in the contrast fabric at seven and a half inches square as well. And the other thing we need is a one and a half inch by four inch strip of fabric that is just for the little loop that we're going to use to hang them. Then we need a seven and a half inch by 30 inch piece of Inselbright. And this is a product that we're using for the inside of the um, oven mitts. And we also need in this seven and two pieces that are seven and a half inches square. So that's for the hand section. Now I'm going to show you two ways to do the little pocket. So if you want to do the pocket with a contrast color at the top so this is the contrast color so it's going to when you put your hand in the pocket like this you'll have a little yellow band at the top um, blue on that side and if you flip it the other way that's how it's going to look so i'm going to give you two options to make these if you want to do it this way then what we've got is a six inch piece by seven and a half inches same on that side we want six inches by seven and a half inches and then we want um, two of these that are three and a half inches by seven and a half inches so but that's just going to be in one piece it'll end up end up being sewn together and folded I'll show you how to do this later on in the video so we can get started now so the first thing that we're going to do well we might as well do the contrast piece first so taking our uh, six inch by seven and a half inch and our contrast piece and our three and a half inch by seven and a half inch strip of fabric we're going to put these together so what we're going to do is place the fabric together like this and we're going to stitch this with a quarter inch seam allowance down the long edge there and then when that's attached we're going to attach this piece as well so let's take this to the machine and I'll show you how we're going to put this together the first thing we're going to do is place our contrast fabric over the top of one of the hand uh, the hand pockets and we're just going to do a quarter inch seam and back stitch and continue to the end and when we get to the end we'll back stitch when we take this to the iron we're actually going to iron the fabric to the dark side so we don't want to press our seams open we want to press the fabric to the dark side lay your other contrast piece or a pocket piece over the top of the yellow line that up and we'll back stitch at the beginning and the end and stitch this at a quarter of an inch as well and that's our contrast piece and when we fold that in half we'll have the yellow on both sides and it's just a nice little accent on the pocket. We'll take this to the iron now and we're just going to press this 
away from the center piece. Now, if this was the darker piece, then you would actually press this toward the darker side. So I'm just pressing the fabric away from the lighter side. Just press it out to the dark. Once you've pressed it away from the center or toward the dark side, make sure you meet the fabric, the contrast fabric in the center so that the sides meet together here. You just want those seams to meet up nicely there. And at the end, fold it across and then press it so that it's even on both sides. So we want the same size contrast on both sides. Now, if you're sewing to sell, pop a label on at this stage or just before you do this stage. And we only need a label on one of the hands. We don't need to have it on each end, so just one. So I've got both of those done and I'll set that aside. And with my little one inch or one and a half inch strip of fabric, we can fold that in half. So we just fold it in half, then fold the raw edges in and fold that in again. And we're going to stitch this down both sides of the long end. I've actually got a long enough piece here to do two because I'm actually going to be doing two. And I'll cut that down to four inches and then I'll have a four inch loop for one of my pot holders or one of my oven mitts. Now, if you're going to do the pocket without the contrast on it, then all we're going to do is take our two fabric pieces and stitch them together. Now, if you've got a label, have your label facing the top and put your other piece of fabric directly over the top. And we want to stitch at the end where the label is. So the label is underneath here and we'll stitch this together just at the top and a quarter of an inch. So you can see there when this is folded over, we won't have the contrast at the top, but we will have the label, which is where our hand goes. So we'll do exactly the same thing for the other two pieces. And as I said, there's no label on that one, so we can just stitch that together. When we finish stitching this together, we can take this to the iron and we'll just press this to the dark side. So whichever is your dark side and then flip it across and press it so that this is nice and even all the way along the top. Now, whether you are using the contrast like this or just using the two colors as in this one, we're going to take our seven inch, seven and a half inch piece of um, insole bright and lay that in between the layers of the fabric. So we want, we want to sandwich the layers so that we've got the blue on one side and the checked fabric on the other side and just a nice even seam down the side there. Pin or clip that in place. Now if you want to top stitch you can go ahead and top stitch that down but I'm not going to so I'm just going to clip this all the way around except at the bottom end and we're going to do exactly the same thing for the other piece and if you've got the contrast fabric we'll do the same thing here lay that over the fold we'll clip this in place and we'll clip the sides in place as well and we'll set those aside so i'll have two of those with the contrast for one oven mitt and i'll have two of these without the contrast for the other oven mitt what we need to do now is take our batting piece and We'll just take the narrow end, find yourself a plate with a rounded edge and I'm going to use this nice Michigan plate that I've got for sale in my shop for $3. So let's use that and all we're going to do is mark the curve 
around the side here. And this is going to be the curve that we're using for our oven mitt. Do the same for the other side. And what we can do now is put all of the layers together. This is actually quite a simple project. It doesn't take long. So let's take our main piece of fabric, lay that out. We'll get our hands that we've already done. And we're going to lay the hands down so that the fabrics are facing each other. And just position that at the end there. And we can clip that in place so we'll sandwich all of those layers together and we'll do the same for the other side so we want the folded edge facing the center of the fabric make sure that's nice and even then we can take the contrast fabric or the plain fabric that i've got in this case and we're going to lay that over the top and we'll line that up so that the layers all meet at the ends, on both ends, and so that everything is sandwiched in between the layers. So we've got these layers sandwiched together nicely. Nice and even all the way around. And we'll do the same for the other side. Now that we have our main fabric, our handles or our pockets and the other side of the fabric in place, we will take our batting and we'll line that up as well. And we'll do the same for the other side. And just make sure that's all nice and even. And we're going to stitch this all the way around and leave an opening. We're going to finish clipping this together. So you just want to make sure everything's all nice and even. This fabric does have a tendency to shift when you're sewing all these layers together. And instead of doing a quarter inch seam allowance we're going to do a half inch seam allowance and we can get rid of the clips on the inside if they're sticking out too far so just clip that down really really well or pin it do the same for the other side and around the handle So we'll keep pinning this all the way around. We need to find the centre. So we'll just fold that in half there. Find the centre. I'm just going to put a little clip there for the centre. And take our loop fabric so this is the four inch by one and a half inch fabric that we folded over twice and stitched down we're going to fold this in half so that these edges sit flat and when we sit it down like this it'll have a little bit of a kick up and that'll just help it to sit better when it's on a hook so just have the loop next to each other the pieces next to each other open this out and where that clip or pin is in the center we're just going to lay that down on either side of the center and we'll clip that in place secure all the layers like that and then we can go and finish Clipping this in place.
and just here so we've got the edge of our pocket or the handle there to here we're just going to leave an opening of a few inches here so what we're going to do now is we're going to start sewing here do a back stitch we'll stitch all the way around and follow the drawn line as the outside of your fabric so you don't have to go and trim this off straight away you've got the edge of your fabric here follow along as though that's the edge of your fabric keep on coming all the way around until you get back to the other side and just back stitch at this end here and then we'll use this for turning through but of course we're going to have to clip our edges first so let's take this to the machine and stitch it down if you're making the oven mitt with the contrast fabric take your fabric and the contrast edge faces toward the center of your fabric position that down over the top so we want the pattern sides facing each other so that when um, the oven mitt is finished this is what you'll see you'll see the blue and the yellow with the checkerboard and then if you flip it around the other way you'll see the checkerboard with the main blue uh, so we'll clip this in place we're going to do exactly the same thing that we've done for the other one when you're putting these layers together do just make sure that the bottom all lines up nicely down there because if you come around and do your curve and you've got your pocket section too far in then you're not going to catch the edges of your fabric so just make sure that's all caught when you come around and sew this is my opening here and I'm just going to start sewing where the loop is do a back stitch and remember I'm doing a half inch seam allowance and I'm going to use the line that I've drawn as my guide for my half inch seam allowance so just go slowly and continue all the way down where the rise in the pocket is I like to double stitch from there And we're coming up to the end so I'm going to leave open about three inches back stitch and that's ready to be almost ready to be turned through now because there's a lot of um, wear when we're wearing this to the curve I actually like to double stitch this so I'm going to go and double stitch that from where the pocket starts So my pocket finish is here and I'll do the same for the other end. Now we can trim this down. And I'm trimming this probably about a quarter of an inch, just a little bit less. Same for the other side. And then we're just going to clip the curves so that it actually sits nicely when we turn all this through. So you want to clip to the edge but not through the stitching. And we'll repeat that for the other side. And now we can find the opening and we'll turn this through. So when you're turning this through, 
find the two pieces of fabric there just stick your hand in and grab the pocket pull that through and go down the other end and do the same thing And there's one side and then we'll do the same for the other side turn that through and just make sure all your stitching has been caught and that you don't have any gaps and then we will take this and we will close this opening up now when you close this you can fold the edges in and you can just whip stitch this by hand or you can do a top stitch so what I'm going to do now is top stitch it closed and I'm just going to come just to the edge of my um, hand section I'm going to top stitch straight down the long edge there just to beyond the yellow there and I'll do the same thing for the other side and that'll just top stitch that nicely so just get the um, pocket section out of the way and we're just going to top stitch really close to the edge probably about an eighth of an inch from the edge and we're just going inside the pocket probably about a quarter of an inch and just make sure that your side edges are nice and even And when we come up to the hole, just make sure that we've got all of our threads out of the way, our fabric's folded in nicely, and we want to try and get that as even as we possibly can. And come up to the pocket. And back stitch. And we'll do the same for the other side. And that is our oven mitt completely finished. There we go. We've got the double oven mitt done two ways. So we've got it here with a contrast fabric. And we've got this one with just the two colours. So stick your hands in there. And you're ready to go. Now if you want to, you can turn this around the other way. Just put your hand through. Turn your oven mitt the other way and you can use it whichever way you like. And same with this one, you can turn the oven mitt the other side and you don't have that yellow contrast fabric, you've just got the blue as opposed to the blue and the yellow and the blue on the other side. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's actually a lot of fun making these oven mitts. Um, they, they don't take long. I think the um, hardest part or the most tedious part of this whole process is cutting out all the fabric. So they don't take long at all and they are very, very easy to sew together. Here you go. We've got the oven mitt with the contrast band and the oven mitt without the contrast band. Um, and apart from that, everything else is made exactly the same. So I've been selling these ones in the shop for quite a few years. Sometimes I'll do them with vintage fabric, which people really love. Um, and I sell them for $30. It takes me about, an, it takes me an hour to get 
two, two and a half oven mitts done. So that's not bad going at all with my labor rate that I like to charge myself. So uh, yeah, easy to do. Now, if you're doing labels, uh, if you're doing these to sell and you're going to put labels on, just check that your labels, um, are, are what fabric they're made of, because I actually ironed mine for the first time the other day and I actually melted them. So they're not cotton. But if you get cotton labels, it doesn't matter. My ones, uh, I'll put the link in the comment section down below where I get my labels. But these ones aren't cotton, so don't iron them. Otherwise, you'll have to unpick it and redo it again. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'd love to know which one you prefer. Do you prefer the oven mitt with the contrast band or do you prefer the oven mitt just plain on the top? Catch you next time.